One thing I wanted to share with you guys is something that we found out a couple days ago. Now, a lot of you guys have been watching the vlogs and noticed Cypher's leg. And then this was all during the whole Ligaya passing away fiasco. So like, I was like, what on earth? We need to schedule Cypher for a vet visit. So a couple days ago, he visited the vet. Now, don't panic. It's not bad news. But this is what the vet said. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Okay guys, so this is what the vet said. Said good afternoon. We checked Cypher's legs and there is a noticeable difference in the size of the left and right hind legs and their weight bearing capacity when walking. There's a suspicious mark on the x-ray. We'll send a picture. Jaya, you can put it right here. That can be a fracture of the head of the femur, long bone of the hind leg and possible displacement. OMG, a fracture? But they're not sure. We recommend to start with medical therapy so a painkiller and a bone and joint supplement if cypher will not be responsive to medications based on physical exam and follow-up x-ray which will be later on this month surgical intervention might be needed we recommend to start with medications first because he is still a puppy and bone healing is better than in adult dogs so I'm like OMG how did he get this fracture if ever again like I said not going to worry let's not panic let's hope this bone therapy through medication and vit vitamins will help with that bone density we were like okay so it's not a luxating patella but like you guys said he might need surgery omg we've been giving cypher a medication it's like this big like pill because he won't swallow it it's like so big for him so we pulverize it and then we put it in like a syringe and feed it to cypher we're also going to try feeding it via peanut butter because he will not swallow it but yeah so so that's what that like limping is it there is actually something in his femur <gasps> that we have no idea how he got but again not going to panic if there's something we learned through Ligaya's health journey it's that I'm not gonna panic and freak out about it I'm gonna remain calm because right law of attraction if you think about it and panic about it and stress about it you attract more of what you think about what you think about expands so just going to pray and hope Cypher's femur gets better <laughs> we also asked about neutering and the vet says yeah no need for that yet like they can be neutered up to like after a year old so neutering ciphers one testicle um, will be delayed till later but I mean otherwise Cypher still acts normal. He's like a normal dog. One thing the vet recommended was he needs a uh, rest. So n limit physical activity. So I'm no longer taking him for walks. We're no longer running up and down the hallway um, and that kind of thing. We're just going to make sure he has leg rest, I guess. Sifes, please get better. We don't want you to go under the knife. Please pray for our little Cypher. Sifes, yes, our little boy. He's cleaning his paws right now. This is not the leg. The leg is on the other side. But otherwise, we don't see him in, in pain at all. Like, we touch it and stuff, but he doesn't show sign of pain. And he's still his same cute chipper self. Sifes, you need to get better, okay? We don't want you to go undergo surgery, except when it's to chop off your one little ball. <laughs> oh, Sifes. Mabuhai squad. Isn't it weird how animals become our children? Like, he's literally our child. Just like Ligaya. Ligaya was our daughter and she became our best friend. Cypher's like our best friend. You're so cute, Cyphers. <laughs> It's beautiful, beautiful eyes. Guys, we have some major positive affirmations to do. All right, so look, this was the last time we did positive affirmations, October 26th. So let's go through them. Here we go. October 27th. My good is constantly coming to me so I can relax and just enjoy what I have at this moment. Ooh, love that. Okay, next. Wednesday, October 28th. My joyful thoughts create my joyful world. All right. Thursday, October October 29th, I now drop habits that no longer serve me. I like this positive affirmation. I use it often. Very famous Louise L. Hay positive affirmation. Friday, October the 30th. Oops. I rejoice in my body. I am glowing health personified. Ooh, love that. 
Saturday, October 31st. My inner child is a joyous, intelligent, highly creative, and inventive being who enriches my life. We have such a great time together. Oh, like that. See, having a great time with yourself. Super important. Okay, next. November. I have learned that the more serene I am inside, the more serenity I have to share. Therefore, I open my heart and speak lovingly to others this month. I look for things to be thankful for and express gratitude often. As I focus on peace and blessings, that in turn is what I find in myself. All right, here we go. Sunday, November 1st. I am on my perfect path. I am guided, supported, and happier than I ever dreamed of. November 2nd. By loving others, I help to improve the quality of their lives. November 3rd. I now turn my face toward a bright future. It is waiting for me. Hope you guys are reading this with me and taking your screenshots if you've been looking forward to these positive affirmations. Next, Wednesday, November the 4th. Today I send loving thoughts to everyone, even those whom I think of as enemies. Love and forgiveness heal. Yes, flowing with life. Next, Thursday, November 5th. There is no right or wrong. I move beyond judgment. I follow my inner voice, knowing that all I seek is already within me. And finally, it is okay to like myself and to be my own best friend. I am lovable and valuable. Here you go, guys. We've now caught up with our positive affirmations. Woo! I just came in from a run. Yesterday ran a full 10K. This morning ran a 5K. I'm in love with running. Hope you guys can run too. And by the way, for you runners and bikers, if you're on the app Strava, look for me. I'm there, Mikey Bustos. <sighs> so, by the time you guys see this, it'll be Saturday. So by then, the US elections will have your new president, all you Americanos. Um, so don't know who's gonna win, but congratulations to whoever candidate makes it. Praying for a great future moving forward. And that's all I am going to say about that. <laughs> also, wanted to mention about Cypher's x-rays. Uh, I think RJ and I have decided to get a second opinion um, because, right, that's, that's something you should do if, you know, like it's something as serious as maybe surgery. So um, I think what RJ and I are gonna do is we're gonna bring Cypher to another vet, actually Ligaya's vet, and see if they also feel like it's a fracture in the femur. Cause that's like major, like how did we not notice this? But yeah, uh, been giving Cypher all his uh, supplements and medication and I mean he's as happy and normal as ever. We don't see a change at all in his behavior but uh, it's definitely something RJ and I need to keep an eye on because I mean we want our dog to like have four healthy legs. <laughs> we are going to go in for a second opinion. How was your day, guys? How's your week been? I am sure for a lot of you, it's been stressful. Mm, mm, mm. But uh, hope these vlogs help you keep your mind off the stress, negativity, all of that. All right. So by the way, if you're new to these vlogs, welcome to the channel. I'm Mikey Bustos. We, the subscribers of this channel, are a big family. We're called the Mabuhai Squad from all over the world, right? Uh, but these vlogs right now are shot in Manila, Philippines, where I currently live, mm -hmm. along with my partner. My partner, that's what he is first and foremost. But he also like is my partner in like business and YouTube stuff, RJ Garcia. And um, our puppy Cypher, of course. In terms of life without Ligaya, our bird, it's been a tough adjustment. We're, we're settling into the new routine now, you know, with Ligaya gone. But there are moments when I have like bouts of like grieving, <laughs> grief, where like my eyes start to water, especially when I read your comments in some of the previous vlogs um, where we talk about the guy passing away, etc. But we really appreciate you guys supporting us um, and sending your messages of condolences. We really appreciate it, even to this day, because like I still feel like we're grieving over it. But yeah, it just feels, you know what it feels like? It feels like all of us, right? We're on this like cosmic race, like running race, and we're moving forward in time, in this time space continuum and Ligaya just like decided to duck out and quit the race and she's like back to heaven and over the rainbow um, she's no longer running with us on this cosmic race that's what it feels like like she decided okay it's my time to dip up see ya loved you guys 
Bye. Um, that's what it feels like. Like, she didn't continue running the race with us. I guess that's the best way to describe how I feel about Ligaya passing away. I don't know. Anyways, Mugwai Squad, check this out. Made an awesome, delicious shake. Been making it every day. And let me tell you, the ingredients in this shake, amazing. Mmm. So good. So, there's pea protein. Pea protein, which feels better in the stomach than whey protein, by the way. Um, I threw everything. There's white mulberries. Organic, of course. All this stuff is organic. Goji berries are in there. Organic chia seeds. I threw in moringa powder. Malungai for all of you Filipinos. Barley powder. I threw in wheatgrass powder. I threw in banana. I also put in a stick of peanut butter. Ice. Water. Orangey. Let me tell you. This is so healthy. And guess what? It tastes delicious. And I'm going to have RJ sample my awesome creation. It's not always RJ making the stuff, right? I can make goodies too. Mmm, look at that, look at that. Mmm, what should we call this? Let's call this the Choco Banana Healthy Shake. Sorry, not so original. I'm gonna put a straw, like one of these fat straws. Oh, it's nice and cold too, guys, because of the ice. <gasps> yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. all right. I made a lot. Okay, let's see what RJ says. RJ, That's for me. I made you something. It's healthy. How is it? W why a second taste before it answer? Is it good? Yeah. Are you sure? Why is it a yeah with a question mark? Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta taste this. I don't believe it's just a yeah. Let's try it, guys. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, right? Why are you laughing? It is so dope. This is the best one I've ever made. I think the mixtures of ingredients are not equal. It's super thick. It's delicious. It's supposed to be thick. Oh my gosh, it really tastes like choco banana peanut butter. Healthy shake. Mmm, Mabu High Squad. It is so good. I don't and like the aftertaste though. You don't like the aftertaste? What do you mean? It's so it's good. It's strong. Like, it leaves here on my... RJ says it leaves an aftertaste on his upper mouth. Maybe that's the peanut butter, and I used Filipino peanut butter. Mm. Guys, cheers. <laughs> it really is good. Mm. Mm. Five Mabu High Stars. <laughs> it takes five Mabu High Stars! What? I'm giving it five laughs. <laughs> five laughs? <laughs> Guys, RJ just told me that he was joking. It is good. Yeah, it's good. It is good? See, wait, I'm just from the mouth. To take my key. Yeah, why are you being a tough critic on me? I hardly make things. <laughs> <laughs> I know when things taste good, Mabuha Squad. I trust my taste buds. Oh, guys, this stuff smells. Why does it smell like that? I, it's hard to describe. Like, the only thing I can think of is like literally rotting earthworms in soil like that's what it smells like oh it's so putrid okay poor cypher has to drink this but when we give cypher this sup or medicine whatever this is we follow up with a treat so he gets rewarded for taking it all right we got it so cypher knows what's going on notice no <laughs> wagging tail <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's excited. He's getting excited. All right. He's like, what's going on? We kind of comfort him through this <laughs> and then here, here Sice. Yes. Come on. It's okay. Good boy. We follow up with a treat. Good boy. All right. And then a little wet nap. Good boy. Yes. Little wipe itch. Wipe, 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 wipe. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. So we've got to continue doing this for the next month or so and see if his leg improves. And if it does, perfect. If it doesn't, we're gonna have to have that conversation about surgery. What? But again, we are going to get a second opinion and also I'm thankful that this isn't some kind of like, you know, deadly disease like what happened and we discovered with Ligaya. This is treatable. Thankful for that. It's a cloudy day in Mandaluyong, Metro Manila. But still a very beautiful day, wouldn't you guys say? See, it's not raining. Oh my, what's, what's that smoke all the way there? Uh-oh. That's not good. What is that smoke there? Hope everyone's okay. Or maybe that's one big bonfire. Uh oh. Little Cypher loves looking out the window. Right, Cypher? You're a window watcher. I remember when he was so scared. Like, 
We had to like carry him to the window to desensitize him as a puppy. The one thing I will miss when we move out of here is this beautiful picturesque view. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> and guys, you might notice my beautiful fish tank. Look at the foliage. And guys, look at, look at those Amazon sword leaves. They're growing completely out of the tank. It's really, really amazing. By the way, guys, if you're from the Philippines and you would like to um, have a beautifully scape tank like this and you're learning aquascaping, be sure to get all of your aquascaping, aquarium gear, fertilizers, um, lighting fixtures, filters, all of that stuff, all that amazing stuff from Joachim Anton on Facebook. Look him up. He's got tons of fish. If you need stuff for fish, if you need fish and livestock, he's got shrimp all kinds of plants go check him out on Facebook oh my gosh my boo high squad I am so excited you know why see these scissors I have been waiting months to use these scissors on a certain somebody. And just a clue, it's not for me. It's Cypher. not for Cypher. What do you mean Cypher? Cypher? RJ is finally letting me cut his hair. RJ, are you ready? I can't wait, woohoo! Oh boy, squad. It's time for Barber Mikey. Put on your apron, RJ. It's time to cut off some hair. <laughs> 